Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about this. What's up, people? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And today we're going to talk about Apple and Google. How they have begun testing their COVID-19 exposure notification API. All right, so Apple and Google have begun testing their COVID-19 exposure notification API. This is coming off of a website called The Verge. Article goes on to say, Apple and Google's joint effort to help public health authorities track the spread of COVID-19 We'll begin testing today, the company said. The companies will deliver an initial version of their exposure notification API to a small number of developers working on apps for public health organizations and test it over the next several weeks. The API is expected to be, re be released more broadly in mid-May. The companies announced their rare collaboration earlier this month, the project which, uh, which users will be asked to opt into. Good. At least we can have the option to opt into it. It says the project which users will be asked to opt into will use Bluetooth to track potential exposures to confirm cases of COVID-19. Smartphones will record instances in which they have been close to other phones for an extended period of time without recording location data. When a person is diagnosed with COVID-19, the API will allow public health agencies to quickly inform other people who may have been in contact with the patient based on the data stored on their phone. Information about patients' identities or locations is not shared with Apple or Google. Apple is releasing a beta version of Xcode 11.5 and the third beta of iOS 13.5 today. The former includes developer tools for building iOS apps that incorporate the API, and the latter includes the code needed to run the future apps from public health authorities. Google has released similar updates through Google Pay Services and Android Developer Studio. Public health authorities will have the control over whether they consider, over what they consider a likely exposure, using the API to account for the approximate distance the phones were from one another and how long they spent in proximity. Both are calculated on users' phones and not shared with the companies. Apple and Google will release sample code on Friday that's intended to show developers how to build apps using the system, they said. In the second phase of the project, expected within the coming months, exposure notification will be built directly into iOS and Android. Oh, all right, so in an effort to combat COVID or to at least alert people if they have been in proximity of COVID, Apple and Google are essentially going to track your phones <laughs> like they haven't already been tracking your phones, but they're going to track your phones to see how close in proximity to somebody else's phone that you have been. And I'm assuming the longer your two phones are together are in close proximity. And I don't even know what the parameters for close proximity mean. Is this considered close proximity with my two phones together like this? Or is it going to be something like 30 feet away, a hundred feet away? Like what is the parameters for quote unquote close proximity? And then how long do they have to be next to each other in this so-called close proximity for Apple or Google to uh, try to determine if one of these people may have potentially been exposed to somebody with COVID-19. And then when a person is confirmed to have COVID-19, how does this work in conjunction with the apps? Does the person just automatically opt in and tell Apple or Google, yes, I've been exposed to coronavirus. And then once that information is in the phone, all of a sudden it sends out little uh, quote unquote coronavirus signals, <laughs> Wi-Fi signals, Bluetooth signals or whatever to inform other phones that, hey, somebody with COVID-19 is in the vicinity. Like, is it going to produce like a hot map or something where I can look at my phone and if I start walking a certain way, then, you know, the closer I get to, to the COVID person, my phone starts beeping or something like that. 
telling me I'm getting too close to the danger zone? Like, how is all this going to work? You know, I'm just curious as to how this is going to work. I legit have no clue, no idea. I don't think anybody has a clue. I just think it's a bunch of software nerds sitting around saying, hey, let's let's make something cool so we can do our part. But how is this going to turn out, man? How is this going to turn out? I know they're talking about in this article that they're not going to collect patient identities, which, uh, you know, I'm assuming that'll be a violation of some type of HIPAA law or something like that. I don't know. But how secure do you think this data will be is, is my concern. Like, what are the chances of this data not somehow slipping out? Then all of a sudden, everybody in your area knows you got the COVID, you know, you know what I'm saying? In case you felt like you didn't want to inform other people that you had the COVID, even though it's probably in your best interest to inform other people that you have the COVID. I'm just saying, like, how is all this going to work in terms of privacy, in terms of keeping people's data secure, in terms of not turning somebody into uh, um, potentially ostracizing people to where, you know, like I said earlier, you're walking around staring at your phone. Can you imagine this? You go into the store. We already we're already stuck with our phones in our faces 24 seven. Right. But can you imagine just going into your store, walking around and you're following the <laughs> you're following some little map on your phone that's trying to steer you away from the hot zone from where a potential coronavirus person may be because, you know, they're popping up red on this little heat map thing that you're following. Can you imagine everybody just doing this, just walking around like this? I can see that coming in the future, man. I can see that coming down the pipe if they don't get this Corona thing un under control and they just let Apple and Google go out there and just do what they want to do. I just want to share that news with y'all. Apple and Google, uh, they out here getting their apps ready, baby, to track who got the Corona so that you all can be safe out in these streets, I suppose. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what your thoughts are on this. Are you okay with Apple and Google tracking who has Corona and tracking how close your phone is to somebody else's phone and, and potentially letting other people know that somebody with Corona is in the area around you? Like, let me know how you feel about this. Do you feel Apple and Google are trying to get a little bit too more comfortable all up in our lives? Or are you just like, it is what it is. It's a virus. There's no cure. We got to do what we got to do. Apple and Google, do your thing. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And this is your boy, Tech G, and I'll holler at y'all on the next video. Peace.